guys, it is your boy T Stingray, and welcome back to another video, guys. Today we are here in Car Dealership Tycoon because we got this brand new limited car, the brand new Pininfarina B95. But before we get this video started, guys, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you guys haven't, and don't forget to click that post notification bell. And also, guys, if you haven't checked out my brand new game, Hyperlux Tycoon, go check it out. The link is gonna be in the description now. Let's go ahead and buy this brand new limited. All right, here we go, guys. The Pinori. <laughs> the Pinori. <laughs> 95B. And it's pretty cool, guys. Look, the Pina. The Pinin Farina B95. Now, I'm pretty surprised that this is an actual limited car. Number one, guys, because we just got a limited Bugatti. Like, it's still in the shop. I think, I think it's still in the shop. It is. Look, check it out. We still have, like, 27 days until this is off sale. And now we got the brand new Pinin Farina B95. And then you guys can see the brand new... What? Yo, the brand new daily challenge is now... Now the Chintanario. That's actually insane. I, I actually uh, think that's actually a pretty cool limited for 9,000 stars, guys. That's not impossible to get in one day. Someone has said that they've gotten that in one day. All right, let's go ahead and check out the Pinin Farina B95. I think it's called like 95B. Actually, no, we haven't even bought it yet. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and go to the store owned. Here we go. Look at this. It's $11.1 million. And it's got a 749 Robux. Okay, it's not bad. Let's go ahead and buy it right now so we own this officially. Yo, guys, this is only $2 million less than the Bugatti that we just bought. Okay, here we go. It goes up to 254 miles an hour. It has a handling of 9.2. And the drivetrain is uh, an all-wheel drive. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this up. Look at this. Yo, this thing is actually pretty sick. Okay. It is funny. It is fully electric. The last car that we drove, guys, the Pian Perito Barita Batista. That was a fully electric car too. Now this one is like the Ferrari SP1, or I think it's called the the McLaren. I don't know. Either one of them has an SP1 or the sp2 i think it's ferrari that has a car that looks exactly just like this that doesn't have a, a windshield at all but look at the interior it's actually pretty cool and we have a passenger with this one the current one we have right now guys is this ferrari or the cosaro monster in the cdt and you guys can see it looks similar to the car that we just bought but this one is just slightly slower so let's go ahead and switch back to the b95 the, uh, the Pinin Farina B95. This is a fully electric speedster, guys. This is what they call these cars, a speedster. And there's no windshield on this. Dude, this is sick. All right, let's go ahead and take this to the track. See how fast it is, and then we'll go ahead and upgrade it. Hey, yo, what is this? Is that a giant burger? Dude, these Roblox avatars are getting out of hand. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and race against a UFO. That's high key scary going against that thing. Okay, let's go. <laughs> 7.6 seconds at 169 miles an hour. Okay, that's actually pretty fast on the one fourth mile, guys. This is the uh, the brand new Pinot Farina B95 right here. It's pretty fast. You guys can see he's got the lucid look to it. I like this. It looks like the lucid. And then it's got the body of like the McLaren Elva, which is like the other car that doesn't have the windshield or uh, the windscreen. You guys can see the back of it looks kind of like, um, I don't know, it looks like a Ford Fusion in a way with a very mean diffuser in the back. But it's pretty cool and I didn't expect it to be fully electric. So that's what it says I got, a 7.6 at 169 miles an hour. That's not upgraded at all. Now let's take it to the circuit track and let's see how fast it does a whole entire lap. Jesus Christ, dude, this burger is absolutely insane. <laughs> no way, this guy is real. All right, here we go, guys. Let's start this race. And you guys can see, I'm in a brand new Bean and Farina B95. And for some reason, we just got like the oddest roster in this race. Like we're racing against a giant burger, a Hooney truck, and a guy that just passed the very first checkpoint of this whole entire race. All right, guys, as I'm driving this Bean and Farina, b95 i like the interior you guys can absolutely see everything makes it easy to drive but the handling guys i don't know if it's a 9.2 it, it, it's advertised that it does a 9.2 but it still kind of seems uh 
a little bit less than that now it is my first time driving this maybe i haven't mastered this car just yet it is pretty quick around the corners because it is an electric car but i thought it would be a little bit quicker than this like check out this straight guys we're not even reaching 200 miles an hour before we have to break on the first uh chicane over here or the first apex which is kind of uh bad because you would think this car would be really really fast but you know what once we upgrade it hopefully it would reach 200 miles an hour but that's not really important right now important is the fast lap time we're trying to break in this whole entire race dude my boy is just literally drifting the whole entire race you know what you do you bro you <laughs> you do you here we go yeah i'm clean with it bro let's go oh no okay here we go let's try to stay on the track I'm trying to get that good lap time guys because if we get it we're good we're gonna see what we can get once we fully upgraded this pininfarina b95 and then in another video guys we'll go ahead and race the p95 against the Bo batista that would be a really really good video here we go we got second place against a giant burger at 35.2 it's my best lap and we finish in three minutes you know what that's actually pretty bad for a super fast car usually we finish under like three minutes and look at the best lap time guys i would expect we'd be like at 34 something not at 35 so it's pretty it's pretty slow i think it's because maybe the handling is not the fast or the best at like high speeds but you know what we're gonna upgrade this bad boy let's go ahead and just uh start lowering everything here we go the suspension we're gonna drop it and then you guys can see we got the race upgrade it's 2.1 million dollars this better be good because it's gonna give us an 8% acceleration and also 18 miles an hour upgrade. There's no turbo because it's an electric car. And you guys can see we haven't even slapped on the race tires. Now we're gonna do that. And then the race upgrade brakes are $1 million. Dude, that is expensive. But it's gonna give us a 30% braking increase. Let's go ahead and uh, leave the all wheel drive there because that's probably the best bet we're gonna have on this race. So, oh gosh, no, we don't want that race. We don't want that race, bro. All right, before we start the circuit race again, guys, let's go back to the drag race and let's see how fast we can go. The last time we went on this, I believe we got a 7.9. I don't know, but we went at 169 miles an hour, which wasn't really impressive. I mean, it's pretty fast for an electric car, but it's not a wow impressive. But let's see what we get here with it fully upgraded and we're racing against one of the fastest cars in the game guys and let's see 7.5 at 171 miles an hour it's, it's not a big upgrade it's actually pretty you know bad that we had to spend over two million dollars just to go two miles an hour faster now hence of time guys i think we went like 7.9 miles an hour now we went to 7.5 i would expect it to be you know a lot faster than that but you know what let's run it again let's see maybe this time we can get a faster time here we go we got the fake bugatti right there and hey, we got the hennessy venom f5 let's go dude this thing is so slow why <laughs> why is it so slow and it's banking to the left again there we go 7.9 what how do we get a slower time in the, the same speed what all right i'm not liking this i'm not liking this all right but we'll give it a shot we're gonna go to circuit again one more time and let's see if we can get a better time than 35.3 guys but at the drag race it has improved but it's not to the you know where we want it to be we spent over three million dollars upgrading this uh, guys and it's almost the same stats as we got it from the beginning and we're off guys here we go we are racing against a porsche 919 hybrid evo and we're actually keeping up look at this yeah dude we're doing pretty good we just gotta stay with them we're not the fastest out here you guys can see they're passing me on the straight but on the turn guys you guys can see that i'm actually doing as good as them there's mr giant burger behind me that's like literally just creeping up oh gosh we hit the wall right there which kind of made us fall back a little bit but we're gonna try to see if we can catch up to the 919 hybrid evos up there honestly guys the whole point of this race is just to see if we can actually get a faster lap time then we did on the last race i'm not very happy with the lap time or the drag race time that we got 
And I feel like we just spent so much money just to go like two miles per hour faster. I feel like we would have just bought tires. It would have done the job. Now, I don't see how that giant burger is driving. Like, that's gotta be the most distracting thing ever while you're racing. But he's doing a great job. He's, he's ahead of me. I don't even know what car he's using. He might be using like a bullion when we don't even know. <laughs> but he's doing a good job, guys. Look at him. He is like going through these apex like they're nothing dude but let me know what you guys think about the brand new limited so far do you guys like it or not in my opinion i think it feels like i just bought a, another tesla in the game without a windshield but you know what it's pretty cool i guess it's another collection to my limited and i guess that this is gonna get a skin later on which i hope it's pretty cool honestly i wish it would get a little bit of an acceleration boost upgrade because it's supposed to be the fastest roadster or speedster right now guys but you know what i think maybe they left it like this to make it seem realistic maybe not to be make it too op which i kind of understand which i like the car it's actually really nice in design it looks pretty sleek as every roadster should be but it looks like we're gonna finish this race under three minutes here we go let's see here and boom look at that we finished in under three minutes and we got 34 0.3 seconds as our best lap time guys oh my goodness this is the pinfarina b95 let me know what you guys think about this car in the comments down below if you guys like this be sure to smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys haven't and don't forget to click that post notification bell thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out